as we look at the actress who scored a surprise Oscar nomination for her role in the movie to Leslie following a grassroots social media campaign. Well, now the Academy is conducting a review of campaign procedures, though they don't mention the film or her specifically. Maybe sees Phil Lipoff is here with more to explain it. Phil, we should be congratulating her, but there are questions. Mixed emotions for her, to say the least, this morning. Good morning to you all. Uh, critics say this 41-year-old actress gives a great performance. However, both the film and the actress were missing from most of the award buzz this fall until a grassroots campaign, as Jenny mentioned, uh, with some of Hollywood's A-listers got it and her on the map. It's my life. Two Leslie is based on the real-life story of a West Texas single mom struggling to survive. The film released in October, grossing less than 28,000 in theaters, moving quickly to video on demand. We were supposed to have a good life. I don't want this for you. I had a good life until you showed up. This morning, cheers and some raised eyebrows after Andrea Riseborough, the movie's star, received her first lead actress Oscar nomination. Andrea Riseborough in oh. To Leslie. Shut out of nominations to highly acclaimed performers, Viola Davis in The Woman King and Danielle Deadweiler in Till. Some saying a grassroots campaign started by Riseboro's team with a long line of Hollywood A-listers could have tipped the scale in her favor. All came to bat for her, which is something that we would see, but not at, at that massive level. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences releasing a statement Friday, not mentioning any film by name, but saying they'll be conducting a review of the campaign procedures around this year's nominees to ensure that no guidelines were violated. The week before Oscar nominations, published reports began appearing about the A-list Hollywood actors praising the film on social media. Gwyneth Paltrow on Instagram posting that Riseboro deserves to win every award there is. Kate Blanchett even shouting her out while accepting the award for lead actress at the Critics' Choice Awards. How many extraordinary performances there have been? Andrea Riseborough. What seems to be the issue here in the gray area is the Academy's rule, specifically number 10, about lobbying. What constitutes lobbying? What doesn't? The Academy doesn't outright define it. As for the British-born Riseborough, despite this controversy, the moment is a dream come true, telling Deadline, I'm astounded. It was so hard to believe it might ever happen. So, of course, we did reach out to Andrea Riseborough, but we've had no reply just yet. The Oscars has a meeting of their board of governors on Tuesday. It was previously scheduled, but Clayton Davis of Variety tells us that this controversy will be on the agenda. If they find rules were broken... Her nomination could be rescinded. And, guys, that's only happened nine times in wow. the history of the Oscars. Wow. wow. All right. Well, we'll be watching. Phil, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.